next curve. Hey everybody, this is Leonard Lee, Executive Analyst at Next Curve, and I'm here at Mobile World Congress 2023, and I'm hanging out with the folks at Amdocs. I'm gonna be filming a sponsored vlog, and this is gonna be supporting one of my research agenda items for MWC 2023, which is 5G modernization and monetization. So hey, uh, I hope you enjoy this vlog, and, um, I'm gonna, I know that I'm gonna have a fun time doing it. So I hope you enjoy the content and let's get started. So we live in interesting times. For the past three years, we had COVID disrupt almost every aspect of our lives. Um, we have a geopolitical strife and conflict. Um, we also have a high interest environment around the globe that's challenging operators that are looking to either initiate their 5G journeys or to continue their 5G journeys. And so one of the things that we have to recognize here is that this is no longer about aspirations, the 5G promise. It's really about how do we go from, you know, starting our 5G journey to getting to the next step in the modernization of not only the infrastructure, but the operations. And once you do that, you can start to realize new services, be able to deploy them, and monetize them. And all these aspects need to be um, synchronized in a certain degree. And so I'm really interested in hearing from the Amdocs team about how they're working with their customers and how they think about uh, enabling their customers' 5G journey. So let's hear from them. Hey guys, I'm here with Ron Porter and uh, he is in charge of uh, I'm head of product marketing for the uh, Amdocs Network, OSS, yes. and end-to-end -end 5G storage. Yeah, so hey, um, tell us about this thing, you know, 5G five, five, uh, value plane. I mean, that sounds really interesting. And then there's this whole bridge concept, the business to network bridge that you have as well. So now, yeah. today we're understanding the 5G is more than just a network upgrade. So it's a whole yeah. change into the operating right. model and the monetization model of service right. provider. So they need to find a way to really connect the business down to the network in new ways. Right. So yeah. we, I think we, we look at it as, as two two pillars. One right. is this 5G value plane, which includes yeah. charging and policy and exposure and analytics. Yeah. So it's all about monetization and exposing right. the network right. in new right. ways. Right. The other angle is around our uh, next generation OSS solution, the right. Intelligent Networking Suite or INS. Right. Right. And that's much more around end-to-end -end automation right. and orchestration, right. yeah. focusing on the service intent. So we give right. the service what it wants, but then we also expose it to partners, to enterprises, right. and monetize right. it in new ways. Right. Hey guys, so this is Smeda, and she is the customer engagement platform guru at Amdocs. So good to meet you. Good to meet you. You know, we Amdocs. met online, and yeah. now we're here in person at MWC 2023. Right. And so, hey, what what's the big news? You guys have a big announcement, right? True. I uh, just announced together with Microsoft. Ambox and Microsoft has launched uh, the new customer engagement platform, mm -hmm. leveraging both leaders' uh, uh, greatest assets to form the really most complete uh, telco-specific platform out there. Uh, big, big news. Okay. Well, so here I have a, a question. So when we look at this, you know, in particular, the Amdocs catalog. And if we think about in terms of, you know, the journey that operators need to go through to modernize, right, for 5G or what have you, right? You know, as they're modernizing the infrastructure, obviously they have to modernize everything above it. What role does the, the Amdocs catalog play? Because I think it's a really interesting artifact because it seems to be like, you know, it goes up and down the stack, right? Well, it's a unified catalog, you are correct. Yeah. Uh, and this is uh, uh, exactly why it serves as a very, very um, a central part of uh, any transformation because it does allow uh, bundling uh, products quite easily mm. and uh, it's a configuration-led catalog. Right. So it enables really fast time to market and the flexibility to adapt really quickly uh, uh, to the market. It also has 
uh, the uh, charging and policy modules and also goes all the way down, if you imagine right, that, right, right, right to the right. network, and able to expose network assets. So it gives you really the most broad uh, um, options to define uh, new offerings to the market and be as innovative uh, uh, as you can possibly think. So I'm Hi. here with another Shachar. Hi. Did I do that right? Yeah, Shachar. Oh, I'm yeah. really good at this. This is awesome. <laughs> so he is all about eSIM. And, you know, um, I I think you guys are doing something really interesting with it that the world should know about. So why don't you share what you guys are doing with eSIM to my audience? Okay, so around six years ago, uh, we launched a platform that is fully connected to the entire eSIM ecosystem from one side to the device manufacturers, on the other side to all the telcos and the eSIM database vendor. And what we basically do, we reduce the friction, we orchestrate and we make sure that each customer and customer has the seamless experience across all devices, channels and touch points. Hey, so I have Daniel here. Ophir, right? Yes. Daniel yeah, is also yeah, okay. Daniel. Okay, good. Uh, good to meet you. you too. So he's gonna talk about subscription marketplace, which is a really cool thing. You know, here's the thing. Uh, you know, Amdocs is doing a lot of interesting aggregation, you know, service development, and, and that, uh, like, really kind of uh, tapping creates new capabilities. Yeah, right. Solve some problems that operators are facing as they're looking at transforming their businesses and. You guys are doing some really interesting stuff in terms of making things easier, right? Exactly. Greasing the wheels for the, the exactly. operators. So tell, tell me about the, the marketplace. Yeah, in, in a nutshell, the platform that we have launched a few years ago was called Market One. Uh -huh. We've rebranded it to Amdoc Subscription Marketplace. The uh -huh. reason that we have done that is that we went with this platform beyond media. Uh -huh. Service providers started with media. Right. And we are there as yeah. well with the Netflix and all those. Yeah. But now they want to go into different industries, yeah. health, insurance, cloud storage, security. All of those business essentials elements are also yeah. want to be part of their ecosystem beyond connectivity. Right. And Amdocs yeah. Subscription Marketplace will enable their end users to yeah. buy subscriptions in a very easy way. You, what do you want to talk about? You want to talk about, want to talk about the Amdocs AI and data platform. Oh, here we go. <laughs> AI. AI. All right, you have shoot. to say the word AI. Yeah. In AI. MWC, you have right? to you say You cannot it. ignore AI. <laughs> so, first and foremost, Amdocs. You know, we have hundreds of customers, right, and hundreds of systems in place. That yeah. means we're touching three billions engagement points almost uh -huh. on a daily basis. Right. Okay. And that means a lot of data that is coming from the end users' yes. Yes. Uh, clients. And uh -huh. what do we need to do? We need to tap into that data. We need to the CSPs to be able. Yeah. to monetize in it, make some valuable insights right. out of it, and then bring it back yeah. to uh -huh. their subscribers and right. to their end users to have a much more personalized experiences. Uh -huh. and how flexible is it? Because, you know, getting a lot of these data sets uh, harmonized and ready for AI uh, applications can take a, a good deal Extremely of work, difficult right? Task, correct. Yeah, yeah. And so, I mean, you know, what's what degree? I mean, because this is what we want to talk about. We want to talk about flexibility because operators out there, they're challenged in progressing the modernization of all the stuff. There's all these wonderful tools, but, you know, maybe if you could speak to that. The flexibility really is in the openness of the system. The system yeah. is agnostic to the cloud service, uh, mm -hmm. operational data stores like Snowflake, yeah. to the hyperscalers. Uh -huh. We're able to integrate with third parties and not just collect the Amdoc systems data, but also the ones that are integrating with it. Making things easy. It's pretty cool. Yeah. All right. Thank you. No worries. Thank you. Well, I hope you enjoyed this vlog and found it insightful. I want to thank the folks at uh, Amdocs for inviting me to do this. I had a great time with them. It was really fun to interact with them and learn about their products and services for 2023 here at MWC 2023. I look forward to what they have in store in 2024. I think it's going to be a continuation of some of the great work that they're doing to help uh, uh, operators accelerate value as they're modernizing their operations and networks in the 5G era. So until MWC 2024, Take care and we will see you later.